okay i'll create a uh, web server then i will uh, host an application okay okay uh, so let me do that first so first i'll create a uh, virtual network okay i've been already created a virtual network so then i will create a subnet okay then i will create a virtual machine okay uh, so then uh, we can install any web server so uh, example for web server tomcat and uh, nginx apache apache 2 okay these are the example for web server please note it down one minute okay so example for a web server tomcat nginx apache jbox okay so these all are example for web server okay only the purpose is we can host applications okay so but when it come to this uh, like uh, a static website okay uh, so that is not going to change frequently so at that time we will use web servers if we want to host dynamic applications then we will go with the application servers that's the difference between that anyway we will, we will do a small project okay application application static so that is going to web servers web page that is going to manage web pages okay so anyway i am going to create a vnet then i'll create a subnet then i'll create a virtual machine i mean already created these three uh, setup earlier right so now i i'll log into my server then i'll try to install one nginx server okay so now we know that how to install apache server right nengarilla engane cheyanallathu nengarillallo okay that we will discuss uh, later so today we going to discuss about how we can install nginx server okay so nginx actually it's a kind of uh, like a web server so where we can host applications okay so let me install that first uh, i'll go to my virtual network i'll go to microsoft azure portal first so i'll open vm1 because vm1 having public ip address right okay because vm2 i don't have any public ip address so i cannot connect the instance if i want to connect private instance what i can do i can create a load balancer then i can put this instance into my back end port then probably i will i will be able to access because for load balancer i will be get one public ip address right okay so i'll connect my vm1 so let me get the public ip address of vm1 just copy and paste okay i'll copy this public ip address then i'll go to my vm sir i have a topic for name topic uh, just adha 11 minute batch enna yana app adile nginx in server engane install cheyanu kaanichu kodukunna web server oru cheriya application install cheyanayite ah okay sir okay nammal apache padichilla apache engane cheyanu nalladhu ah app adile nginx ah so first i will logging into my vm1 ssh uh, then ashik at the rate my public ip address i'll copy this public ip address once again copy this and paste over you hit enter So I have to enter my password. I'll enter my password. Successfully connected. Uh, so I didn't install any nginx or any web server on it. Okay, it's a dummy server. Just now I created. Okay. So first I will become root because if you want to modify your server, if you want to install any packages, we have to become root. Okay. In Linux we have to use sudo su. Okay. Sudo su. Sudo su in the sense super user do switch user. Okay. If you want a per, if you want a permanent permission, then we have to go sudo so. If you want a temporary permission, then we will go with sudo. That's it. Okay. So I be I became a root now with the permanent permission. Okay. So now I become root. You can see that on left side root, right? Okay. And if you want to root like uh, in Windows machine, what we have to do? So we have to go to uh, this command prompt. I will show you that first. I will search command prompt. Command prompt. Okay. So then click right button. So here we have an option run as a administrator, right? So we can become root. We can do all the activities. But when it come to Linux, we have to execute sudo space su. Okay, super user do switch user. Okay. So now I will install my package apt install. Ah, uh, then nginx. Apt is a package manager. By using apt advanced package tool, this tool we can use to install any packages. Okay. If any doubt, I will repeat it tomorrow. No worries. Okay. Space minus y that is going to automatically install. See if I am not mentioning y, so let's see what happened. Okay, it's installing, but they are asking, do you want to continue? Right. If I put minus y, automatically it will install without any prompt. I can install. Okay. So minus y apt. So that is a package manager. If you want to install any packages, for for example, if you want to install MariaDB or any other database or any other web servers, you have to use apt install then package name. So the package name you have to replace. So uh, whatever coming in front, apt then space install that is a constant. 
okay so i will put y or uh, yes so now it's installing okay now you can see that a reading database successfully installed uh, progress 35 percentage 54 okay 99 percentage okay successfully is installed so let's wait a couple of seconds once it update when you will try to access ഡിഫറെ <laughs> See, I'm not able to access that Nginx server. What would be the reason? So we have already learned port numbers, right? Mm -hmm. huh. So what is a port number? Where we need to add a port number? Mm -hmm. huh. To connect, to visualize the page, uh, which port I have to enable? Port number? 88. Port number 88 or? ഓക്കെ <laughs> so uh, so the system will be associated with, with one service for example when you install apache the apache apache will be have one service apache service okay same as when you installing nginx the nginx will be associated with the nginx service so we need to check the status is up or die or inactive okay for that we have to execute service nginx status okay now you can see that status of my nginx that is active under So could you please note it on this command? Service space nginx space status. Okay, I can I can check the status whether it is active or not. If it is not active, what we have to do? So we have to remove the status. Then I will use start. That's it. Okay. So then it will automatically it will start. Okay. So now I'll copy this public IP address. I will refresh. See, welcome to nginx. So successfully I am able to access my nginx server. Okay. I am able to access my Nginx server now. Right? Any doubts? No. So now my requirement is I want to host a small application, a custom application over you. Okay. When you are searching from your system or a device or wherever it is, you will be able to access the same page. Okay. So for that I will go to uh, Nginx, uh, this virtual machine. Okay. Then I will go to CD. CD in the same chain directory. If you want to open one directory, then you have to use CD. Because we don't, we don't have any GUI available over here. That's all. So CD. var www html you have to go to this directory open ls you can see that by default you will be have one index dot nginx uh, dbin dot html file right i'll remove this file first rm index dot uh, nginx dot dbin dot html i'll remove this file successfully removed you can see that now i'll create a file over you so index dot html so we can use nano editor or vim editor nano index.html hit enter okay so then i will create a small file h1 so that is a header one hello azure class i will close this by using h1 tag control o for save enter control x that's it 
So I'll go to my Nginx again. I will refresh this page. You will be able to find Hello Azure class, right? So publicly, I create, I hosted this small application on my server. See, anybody can access this, right? You can also check with your mobile phone or device. You'll be able to access Hello Azure class. Okay. If you have any application, for example, e-commerce application or any website, you can copy the code and you can come to this directory and you can paste on index.html and you will be able to find the same website over here. So later you can purchase a domain name, then you can integrate with this IP address. So you'll be able to find like www.thedomainname.com, you'll be able to find this website. Okay. So there we have to enable DNS server now. Any doubts? Any doubts? No. No doubts. Hmm? How to install? Install in the same install. So same as Apache. We can install Apache as well. Apache is same as a web server. So that is a different vendor because Apache is giving Apache. So a different vendor. Nginx is giving a different vendor. Or same as AWS and Azure. Azure is a different vendor and uh, uh, AWS is a different vendor. Like Okay, we can use either because there are some differences. Service is the different. Difference. Service is the same. Service is the same. But this is the same. Company is the different. Are you providing the companies? Any other difference? Sorry, any other doubts? Uh, command prompt.